Welcome back, Cultural Commandos. It's James Conner, half Astro Port of the Guy on the Bike, and we're coming to you from Chinatown. Special shout out to our viewers in Copenhagen, Buenos Aires, and West Los Angeles. We're going to run in here to the Martos Gallery, and we're going to try to get a shot. Plans at a show by Tyree Guyton titled I Ain't Playing. If I'm not mistaken, that's Tyree right there. Okay, there's Colin McCormick and Jeffrey Cypher Wright, one of the local New York poets. So, gosh, I haven't been out to an opening, at least on video, for a while. I'm going to take a look at this. This is titled XYZ Doors 2023. You like this one? Yeah. It's got a better door. <laughs> I see it. Well, you know, the interesting thing is he's making this stuff out of discarded things, but there's a certain formalism in here, abstract formalism. Like your little X there in the lilac paint and uh, your circles there on the front. Cuffy, the sweethearts in East Village. Yes. He was always using found stuff. He had a little bit of this with the hangers and the tie. Sure, okay. I'm going to keep moving, Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> so I walked in, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking about a uh, Rauschenberg piece I saw last week. It was just a bar and a wall with some holes in it and some string running down. <laughs> I stand back and I go, I get it. That looks like Siggy. It's titled Smoker Choice 2023 Mixed Media and Latex Flat Paint 76 by 6 inches. Well, my introduction to Tyree's work was I was on my bike pedaling up Elizabeth Street and uh, something caught my eye in a window and uh, I stopped, pulled over and there was one of Tyree's paintings oh gosh it was extremely zippy it was uh, kind of a uh, goofy face on an orange background I think it had many had big smile and uh, I looked at it and made a note of the name and uh, ever since then I've been uh, a fan of the work it's another one of the uh, door pieces this is titled DMX door 2023 Latex flat paint with mixed media 84 by 31 inches. Well, I guess Tyree has probably become world famous for his Heidelberg project. 
Kyrie is from Detroit. And uh, as we all know, Detroit has fallen on hard times. And uh, well, I think that he said his grandfather had a house there on Heidelberg Street. And at some point, I guess maybe he was in the army and came back in the mid-late 70s and uh, due to all the factories moving and the automotive industry kind of relocating a lot of people that left their houses and so you had a whole batch of vacant houses. And, uh, well, Tyree decided that he was going to do something artistic and creative with that area. And so he went around and started decorating, <laughs> recontextualizing, uh, kind of redoing these houses, using various things, things that he found, and paint and things like that. And uh, after doing this for a while, and I guess doing several houses and doing sections of the street, he started to get some attention. Okay, so just calling this gallery installation, Well, like I said, I saw one of his paintings a couple of years ago in the, the front window here at the gallery, and uh, it stopped me. <laughs> and I think one of the reasons is that, uh, gosh, Tyree, I think, has got, you know, he's one of these people that has a natural color sense and compositional sense. And... I guess this would be a good example of the way that he's able to find maybe what most people would consider random, disparate elements and using things like color and pattern and form, shape and size uh, and compose them into something that's beautiful, artistic challenging. I think in many ways you could sort of look at this and see it as a uh, index of childhood tropes and uh, well it would be amazing to kind of uh, chart out the number of these that are influenced by various things. Disney, the Warner Brothers cartoons, good old uh, teddy bear and some of the other childhood things that have become cultural icons. Is that a Smurf? Also, I was looking at the uh, installation here with the records. Okay, I don't know how many of you are still collecting vinyl. I had a bunch of vinyl. <laughs> Actually, some of it my kids had collected and, uh, well, I put it out in the, the dumpster about seven or eight years ago. I probably was stupid. Okay, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this wall And this wall is that they've come in and kind of painted in a little silhouette of a house. And here are some trees, and I guess Kyrie has also done things on trees, like the bottle trees and things like that. And then, okay, the record albums. I guess you could probably look at each one of these labels and consider that a ready-made piece of art. Okay, what do I got? Carmen McRae in person. Fonte and Tyser, Love in the Generation Gap. Huh. I guess it's a, uh, well, sign of the times. I actually remember listening to this stuff. Procol's Ninth, Procol Harm. Gosh, I remember those guys. I guess that's one of the things about using 
found objects, ready-made objects. There's already a uh, trove of nostalgia, memories. McCoy Tyner. I was just thinking how nice it is to have Spotify and just run in, click on the search and have all this stuff pop up. Don't have to worry about uh, scratching your records or breaking them or breaking the needle on your turntable. Okay, that would be an interesting one to play. Feeling bitchy. Millie Jackson. This is titled Just Hair. MM 2023 Mixed Media and Latex Flat Paint. It's interesting how he makes a point of saying latex flat paint. But I was thinking that actually some of this is kind of uh, kind of glossy. Well, they're talking about him working in his it was the Heidelberg project and working in this neighborhood. And I remember that uh, it was Purvis Young did a similar kind of thing in a place called Overtown in Florida. So I. I kind of like this idea of uh, urban renewal by artists. And I guess this is also just part of the gallery installation. Okay. Oh, we've got yesterday's newspaper. Maybe that's Sunday's newspaper. So we should take a look at this bench here. I use that. We've got some cinder blocks. Rock Creek Park bench installation. My friend, I'm ready whatever you are. You ready? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a beautiful piece with the bucket sticking out. How long this shit gone gonna take? 2023. All right, Tyreen. Well, tell us a little bit about the show. You've got a lot of work here installed. How long did that take? It took five days. Five days, and you brought this all with you from Detroit? I, well, yes, but I had a whole team of folks, you know. Yeah, and they were... <laughs> they brought this here. But it was all from Detroit. It wasn't like, was it locally sourced? <laughs> no, this stuff uh, came from all over the world. All over and the world. I worked with a company and they import and export oh, yeah. dry goods all over the world. So this stuff from all over the world. Tell us a little bit about your record installation. I was looking at some of those and and I remember when I would be listening to the radio and hear Franti and Teicher playing some of these songs and things. Absolutely. Are you a vinyl collector and a... I'm both vinyl collector and I love music because yes. when you hear the music, guess what you gotta do? Dance! You gotta dance, you gotta move. Shake your booty! <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what's happening in Detroit these days. I read an article that was in the New York Times Magazine section and they were sort of saying that it was kind of sad because you actually had to destroy some of your Heidelberg project to preserve it. And how has that been going? In life, Yes. You have to understand, you need the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's right. And then you have to learn to make the best of it. And occasionally you turn that into some beauty. You better believe it. If you you're know lucky. why? <laughs> because I'm the alchemist. That's a, that's a beautiful way to think about it. And also you're doing a little dancing while you're doing this stuff as well. Yes. Putting it all together. Yeah. How about? And I know how to dance. <laughs> that's good. How about your art training? Did you ever go to school to study any of that stuff? I saw that you said your father was a house painter. Was that it? Yeah, commercial painter. 
Yeah, I went to art school. Oh, that's good. That's and in 2009, I received a Doctor of Fine Art degree from the College of Creative Studies. A doctor? Yes. You didn't Should know that. Should you Dr. Tyree? Yeah. <laughs> okay, doctor. Life is full of surprises. Um, I was saying that I think the first time that I saw any of your work was here at the gallery about three or yeah. four years ago. They had a beautiful painting in the front room, kind of orange, as I remember, had a face on there. And I looked at it and I said, whoa, I pulled over and looked in. I saw your name, I took a note, and I said, I'm going to have to keep you track of this guy. You looked in the window guys. and saw that face, yes. that painting. Yes, You know why? Because it was looking at you. <laughs> that could be, but also, I could sense from that that you have a kind of a natural sense. I mean, when you were, your father was a painter, did he also do signs and things like that as well? He you was a commercial painter, my grandfather, commercial painter. Oh, oh. And then because of him, I went to art school. Because I was thinking you've got a really great graphic sense of just the layout, the design, and composition, and line, and form. You know what? Because I can you hear it. <laughs> you know the history. And I can hear it. That's beautiful. Okay, Tyra, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for Thank chatting you. with us a little bit. Congratulations. Thank you so much. show looks great. Thank you. I hope your team is the, are the people that take it down, and you don't have to spend five days climbing up and down ladders to take I'm this down. I'm an artist. I'm afraid I might hurt my hands taking <laughs> yes, it down. Yes, yes. So, well, okay. All the people. All right. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Tari. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, well, I wanted to come back and take a look at this because we've got uh, some bricks that Dr. Tyree has painted here. And uh, every time I see a an installation like this of ready-made objects, found objects. Of course, I think back to uh, Duchamp and his bottle rack and his wheel on a stool, his bicycle wheel on a stool. Although I would say that this is even more poetic. This is how long this shit gonna take. 2023 mixed medium latex flat paint 36 by 26 I have a dream I say to you today my friends so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Okay, I'm gonna sneak in here into the office and just take a glance at a couple of these. Just had a blackface 2023. And that is 44 by 47 inches. Title Killing Machine. Okay, I like that. We got the springs in there and the uh, droopy paint can. Also, you. Twenty twenty three, this is seventeen by fifteen inches. Okay, well I think we got it all. This has been James Com reporting on Tyree Guyton. I ain't playing here at Martos Gallery. You can like this, share, subscribe. Link it up to all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. I just ask you to say thank you, Kate. That was great, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Great.